Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today, very simple one, but something which we get asked every now and then, is how do you actually enter safe mode in Windows 11? Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to get into safe mode. Now, this applies to Windows 10 and Windows 11, more so a Windows 11 in this particular video because we are using Windows 11 and more and more people will be uh, transferring over to that operating system. So maybe this may be of use to you. Again, if you're using Windows 10, it's a very similar process, although with Windows 11, there does appear to be a few more additional clicks. So uh, let's get straight into it. So this is our Windows 11 desktop and uh, say for instance, we need to run something like DDU or remove some drivers or actually do some antivirus work, which uh, means we have to kind of go in without drivers, etc. running. So what we're going to need to do is to go into safe mode. Now, the, probably the easiest way of doing it, if you can actually get into Windows normally, is to click on the start flag, click on the power icon, and what we want to do is choose restart. Now, before you click on restart, press and hold the left shift key and keep it held down and then click on restart. Keep the button held down, don't release it. I'll tell you when. This unfortunately is a slightly long-winded process, so we're going to have to uh, wait a while. The screen should go blank, and you may find your BIOS screen coming up. And just keep the shift key held down until we see the blue screen. Not the blue screen of death, but the blue screen for the uh, recovery console and stuff like that. Now you should find it comes up with please wait, at which point you can possibly, if you want to, release the shift key, but I generally keep it held down until I actually see the screen. So here is our, essentially our diagnostics menu. So at this point, if you're not sure and you didn't want to go into safe mode and you actually did it by mistake, you can just click on continue and it'll go back into Windows 10 or Windows 11. You've also got the option to turn off your PC again if you've done something else, but otherwise this is the one that most of you are going to be looking for. So this is how to troubleshoot and reset your PC in the advanced options, etc. So we'll click on troubleshoot. And then we've got the option to reset this PC. So if you want to do a reset on your PC, you can go into there. But we're looking for advanced options. So in advanced options, you've got startup repair, uninstall updates, UEFI firmware settings. So this is a good way of getting into the BIOS should you wish to. Also, we've got access to system restore. We've also got access to the command prompt and startup settings is where we want to be. So startup settings has got a few options on it. So we've got an option to restart to change Windows options such as enable low resolution video mode, debugging mode, boot logging, safe mode, disable driver signature enforcement, which can be useful for some, and disable early launch anti-malware protection, and disable automatic restart on system failure. So we want to go into safe mode, so let's click on restart. And eventually you should come up with the startup settings. So you can press a, uh, a number, or you can actually use the function keys, should you wish to. So we've got various options there from one to nine, there's F10 for more options, and enter if you uh, basically did this by mistake, which I think is pretty unlikely. Most of you are probably going to want number four, which is enable safe mode. That's the pretty much the, uh, the default one. Potentially, if you're having video issues, you could actually just use number three. So this will allow you to use Windows normally, including network in, command prompt, all that kind of stuff, but will be in low resolution video. So effectively, that's just going to enable the built-in Microsoft display adapter rather than using your AMD, Intel, or NVIDIA graphics drivers. So potentially that might be a way around it to actually get into your system to do something uh, useful. But otherwise just press number four for safe mode, which we're gonna go ahead and do now. After a short while, you should be greeted with your login screen. Now, if you're using a pin, make sure you use a pin, but you may also find that in some instances you may find that this is actually gonna be asking for your password. So if you're normally using a pin, it should be fine, but it may actually not say pin there and may ask you for your full password. A lot of people say that they get towards safe mode and then they can't log in. Normally this is because it requires your Windows account password rather than the pin number. So make sure you pay close attention to that. Once you've logged in, you should get this screen. So this is safe mode, basically graphics drivers. and um, Most of the other system drivers are actually running in a very minimal state. So you can go in and do any changes you need to, such as antivirus work, uh, running things like DDU, uninstalling troublesome programs, all that kind of stuff. Once you're done and you're happy, then all you do, click on the start flag and power and just do restart as you would normally or shut down if you wish. The next time Windows boots, it will boot up in normal Windows driver mode. Okay, so there you go, nice and straightforward, nice and simple, how to get into safe mode for Windows 11. 
a few more little bits and pieces we need to go through on that. Uh, not quite as simple as it is for Windows 10, although they may actually change it so Windows 10 and Windows 11 work in exactly the same way, which could be the case. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, don't forget to smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a regular basis, then hit the subscribe button and the chime notification, and you'll see new feed in your video subscriptions. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.